and flagging Gavi. That's a forest story for today. Traveling in a jeep sighting elephants, wild goats and trekking in the woods. The happiness we get while walking through the unexplored forest will be a cherishing and memorable experience, isn't it? Then boating in the reservoir in Gavi, exploring a waterfall over there and staying at the Wood Knot Resort at Thakudi. That's about the story. So we shall start the journey. We are routing to Gavi in the morning after spending the last night in the Wood Knot Resort. We started our journey by 5.30 in the morning as we are planning to enter the forest as soon as the check post opens by 6. We can see a road to the left as we travel for 15 minutes in the Kumli Vandipiriya Road. That's the road to Gavi. We're going to Gavi through the fog-filled tea gardens enjoying the rays of the morning sun. We have to get the entry permit from the Gavi Ecotourism Office. They won't let us pass the check post unless we have the entry permit. So this is the forest check post. We have to show the entry permit from the Gavi Ecotourism Office. And if you have a camera, we have to pay an extra charge for that. It's 45 rupees. After clearing the procedures, our driver opening up the covers of the jeep as we are moving to the forest. Open vehicles are the best to travel inside the forest since it gives numerous possibilities to experience the forest vibe and the visuals also. Most of us may think that these open vehicles can be attacked by the animals. But the fact is, animals don't attack the vehicles as they move away seeing the vehicles approaching. And elephants would be an exception though. But most drivers are skilled enough to drive through the forest. It's 20 kilometers distance from the check post to Gavi and it takes almost one and a half hours to reach Gavi as we are traveling through the forest, exploring every vibe check opportunities. Though tiger sightings are very rare here, there are chances to sight the tigers in the safari. And as we moved further, we could see grass on the road which made us to infer the presence of elephants as they pluck away grass when they walk through the road. Expecting an elephant sighting, very soon we continued a journey and there's an elephant on the top of that hill. But it won't be the same one which threw the grass on the road. And we are moving again in the hope of sighting another one a bit more closer. Yeah, finally we found them. After the funny deeds on the road, they are climbing the hills slowly eating grass. Though it's a part of Peria Tiger Reserve, grasslands are more here than deep woods. And this is really enabling us to sport animals even though they are staying far away. Sixty vehicles are permitted in the Patnam Thitta Gavi Kumuli Road other than KSRTC a day. But we cannot travel from Kumuli to Gavi. We can reach Kumuli area from Angamuri via Gavi. And we are permitted to reach Gavi through Walakadavu check post only if we take this Gavi package and private vehicles cannot stop in between. <laughs> So he was explaining about the 11 kV line which carries electricity from Muriyu Dam, which was built during the reign of the British. Moving further, we could spot some wild gauze grazing. 
Compared to other forests, the Peria forest has the most number of wild cows. Especially, they are mostly spotted in the grasslands and barren hills of Valakadavu region. Since it's been raining, grass has grown plenty, which hinders a clear sightings. So that's a female barking deer and she seems to be alone. Usually these barking deer run away when they see a vehicle and people's approaching. But this doesn't seem that afraid. Gavi became famous after the Malayalam movie Ordinary. But we can experience the beauty of Gavi only if we book the Gavi package. There are two sambar deer on the hills which we could not be noticing if we had taken a bus or private vehicles. And since it's a tiger reserve, no two villas are allowed in here. Let's enjoy the real beauty of Gavi forest after the safari. And those are Indian giant squirrels which are spotted in most of our videos. This time it's a couple. And this safari is not the main event this time but it's the trekking, exploring the real magnificence of the forest. The district of Idiki ends 5 kilometers before we reach Gavi. And then on we enter the district of Patanamdita and Gavi belongs to the district of Patanamdita. That's an owl. Usually, they remain on the trees and they come down only to prey on something. And it has hunted down a crab. But it has flown away because it saw us. And this owl was spotted near the stream. So when we enter the forest in the morning, we can spot owls if we observe the trees closer and we have spotted a brown fish owl. As we moved further, we spotted a small temple and here there are some tribes and these kind of temples belong to them. Our jeep driver has spotted a tiger in here two years ago. And that's a serpent eagle on the tree. It's a common bird that is seen in almost every forest. He's rinsing himself as there had been a rain recently. I'm not going to explain the character and eyesight as I've already explained those in our previous stories. This is the Idiki Patnamdita border which I've already talked about and there's a camp shed by the forest department. There's a private house just after the camp shed, which was bought from the British and it's now passed as an ancestral property. And we're about to reach Gavi. There's a viewpoint over here. We just have to reach Gavi after enjoying the scenery and exploring the possibilities to sight some animals. And it's a bit foggy and raining over here. There are some wild cows grazing in the fog. There are more than 15 including the males, females and calves. Usually, elephants are also spotted here other than these wild cows. If we wait for some more time, we can see them coming because it's not just a tiger reserve but an elephant reserve too. This Peria reserve stands in the second position with respect to the number of elephants among the four elephant reserves in Kerala. It takes only 5 minutes to reach Gavi Dam from here. This dam was built in 1990 and doesn't have a shutter. It's a gravity dam like the Idiki Arch Dam. And there's also boating provided in this lake, included in a package. And the boat safari will be in the afternoon once we are back after the trekking. Our forest safari is coming to its end when we reach here.
There's a KFDC office over there and we have to show the ticket over here to proceed for the trekking. So this is the Kerala Forest Development Corporation office. We cannot take tickets here directly. We have to book beforehand. And we'll get the tickets showing us whole schedule for the day once we get our details. We can have the breakfast from the restaurant that is opposite to the office after getting our tickets. Breakfast is included in this package. We could see the dam on the left. The restaurant is spacious enough. This Gavi package has a trekking after the breakfast. We could go for the trekking for two or three or four hours as our health permits. And after that, there will be a boating at the reservoir. It's not a big event. We are having a small row boating. And we'll be back after seeing the waterfall. There's a lunch after the trekking which is also included in this package. Let's go near the dam and it's a spot where we can take good photos and it's also a relaxing climate over there. And if it starts raining over here, it'll be continuously raining for 3-4 to four hours. By August, water races up to this swing. After a short walking around, we are back for the breakfast at the restaurant. There will be a guide allotted for trekking. One guide will be accompanying each team. And even if we came alone, a guide will be allotted for us. So, we have started the trekking after the breakfast. Climbing up through the step which is built next to the KFTC office, we reach here. And the first thing we see once we reach, there is a skeleton of an elephant. They named this place as Museum. And there are some skulls of wild gauge and samba deers. This whole skeleton was made using the elephant bones collected from the Gavi area. Though it seems small in the video, it's actually big enough. We are entering the forest finally, and it's the forest after the electric fence. We have taken this Gavi package from the resort named Woodnote in Tegudi. Those who are interested in booking this package, which covers the stay, food, safari and this trekking, can contact the Woodnote resort. I will mention the details in the description box. After walking through the bushy region, we reached the actual forest. This is fresher than the nature walk in the Tegudi forest, since the tourists are very less over here. We are walking through the path through which the elephants have walked. Anyways, let's walk for a little while, feeling the freshness and also listening to the music of the forest. It would be better if you guys use the headphones for listening closely to the music of the forest. How freshening and calming it is to listen to the melody of the forest and as we move further, that's a Neil Green Martin and it's just a kid. The adult martins are so beautiful to see and these animals are rarely spotted and it's for the first time I'm seeing this creature directly. Though they look cute and beautiful, they are not that innocent because there are chances they bite us. So it's better not to approach too much closer to them. So let's resume our trekking. On the way, there's a tree fallen in the rain and wind. 
As I've already mentioned, we are walking through the elephant's path. Since the tree was fallen, the elephants have found a new way as it hinders their journey. And it's a peculiarity of elephants to create such ways and they'll be walking this path. They create such paths to walk in the correct way to reach the correct destination, not just in small forests like this, but in dense forests too. And this exact paths are used by the tribes and the forest watchers as it has enough space and width to walk. After walking a little further, our guide showed a tree and gave its bark to smell. It was a natural cinnamon. Actually, forest is a wealthy chest which hides a lot of secrets behind it. And we have reached a barren hill. It is said that we could see the Sabrimala viewpoint from here. So let's climb up there. And that is Shabrimala over there. This is the only viewpoint from where we can see the Sabrimala temple other than we visit the temple directly. There is fog in here now or else we could even see the temple clearly as the guys told us. As we are staying on a barren hill, I was closely observing for an animal sighting. And there are two elephants and it is easier to find animals since these are open grasslands. And this greenery would be always there since it gets enough rain in Gavi. And there is a wild gaur grazing alone down there. And after resting for a while at the hill, we back again to resume a trekking. Let's listen to the melody of the forest a little more. That is a Nilgiri langur on the tree eating the leaves. And it is very difficult to get the eye level visuals of these Nilgiri langurs as it runs away very quickly when they see us. I used to believe that these Nilgiri langurs are timid, but my belief has changed with an incident that occurred during the nature walk at the Tekadi. One day a baby Nilgiri langur was fallen from the tree and a domestic dog came and bit it. But all of a sudden a group of Nilgiri langurs came down and attacked the dog. And that dog would never forget that attack. We have reached at the waterfall. This is not a famous waterfall because many haven't seen it. Since those who take the package are only allowed in the forest. That do those who are willing to work for 4 kilometers. And this stream right here is the river Pamba which is considered as a sacred river in Hinduism. Most people who take this package go back after visiting the Sabrimala viewpoint and it took almost two hours to walk and reach over there. It's such a beautiful scene and it would be amazing if it rains. How gorgeous it is, clear and serene stream and the waterfall inside the forest coupled by the scenic beauty of rain and fog. And it is so deep. There is no way to reach down there, but the tribes would go down using rope to collect honey once or twice in a year. After spending some time over there, we're going back. 
we are not taking the same path which we used to reach here and it is like a round we have entered back the forest and continue to walk so that is a giant wood spider one of the biggest spider category in the world and it's a female though its bite is poisonous it's not that dangerous as it just causes itching After walking for almost 1 hour we are about to reach the road though this area belongs to the forest department there used to be cardamom cultivation and that's an old history the people that live here are the people that came in 1983 i think most of us are familiar with the war in 1983 there had been many sri lankan refugees that reached to danushkodi and then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi has welcomed them and gave them places in many parts of South India. And Gavi was given to 150 among them to live and sustain through the cardamom cultivation. And their generation lives here right now. Some of us have gone back and some are still settled in Tamil Nadu. So that is the Gavi Dam. We reached here through that. We have started our boating from the left side of the dam. Boating only takes maximum of half an hour. We can see a waterfall once we reach the end side of the reservoir. This is the main attraction of the boating. Water was very less as it is just the beginning of rainy season. This waterfalls is known as the Nirvircha waterfalls. and the way to this waterfall gives the real forest ambience and after seeing the waterfall we came back to the jeep which took us to the resort from where we have taken the package and as i've already mentioned the package they provide is a very good option We have already reached here by yesterday. And it's not just the loveliness that make this property attractive, but it has a close and neat swimming pool and a pretty restaurant. For those who wish to take this package or just to spend some days here, I will give the contact details in the description box. So let's meet again with another exciting forest stories. Bye-bye.